All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today you join me in this beautiful Oxford Green E46 330 convertible, which I've just bought. I don't really know why. I'm afraid I haven't got an answer for you. I just saw it and loved it, so I thought I'll just keep that as a bit of a, a bit of a toy. I just love this era of BMWs. Late 90s, early 2000s was really, for me anyway, peak BMW. Anyway, I shall do a separate video with that at a later date. The reason for today's video is I've just bought a Citroen. That's all the details I have, I'm afraid. A Citroen for £300. I don't know what model it is, don't know what colour it is, don't know the mileage, don't know anything at all. It's just come in part exchange against a more expensive car at the garage. I've got the key, one single solitary key, so I'm going to drive to the car park at work where it's parked and figure out, well, firstly, which Citroen it is, and then have a bit of a tour of it and see what it's like. At £300, I can't really go wrong. I've said this to you before with other cheap videos, but at 300 quid, it doesn't really matter if it's a complete, well, it doesn't even matter if it drives. If it doesn't drive, it shall be scrapped for 250 maybe. So I can't lose an awful lot. I'm hoping though it's quite nice, in which case it might be worth double or triple that. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I shall see you there shortly. For now, I'm just enjoying going back 21 years. It's so nice to be in something that's just simple. It's a real analog driving experience, this. I just love it. Well, we're here, guys, so let's play a little game of let's find the £300 Citroen. I hope it's not that. There's a Citroen C4 Grand Picasso thing there. If it is that, my day has just got significantly worse. I hate those cars. I purposely don't buy those cars because they're just, they're just garbage. I hate them. It can't be that. That's a 63. Late 2013, that would be too... Even though I wouldn't give you £300 for it. It's going to be worth more than £300. No, it's not that. And I turn. Suzuki Alto, Audi TT, Audi TT. Hers and hers, matching pair. Ah! The Citroen C3 Picasso there. In city blue. Can't be that, surely. That's well worth more than £300, quid, hasn't it? Moment of truth time. It bloody is. Look at that. Well, I think I've had a result here because I was expecting with this one shabby key, I was expecting something like an old Citroen C3 or a Citroen C4 or something, something semi-auto, something hateful. But that actually doesn't look too bad. That's actually very tidy. I smell a bit of a rat here, so we're going to do a vehicle history check. Now, as always, I use a company called Car Vertical. So all you need to do is go to carvertical.com, type in the vehicle reg, which in this case is Mike Victor 60. Whiskey Victor Sierra. I forgot what V stood for then. This will check to see if it's been involved in any accidents, to see whether it's got outstanding finance on it, see how many owners, the MOT, all that sort of stuff. And it's crucial you do a check like this before you buy a car. If you click the link below in the video description, use the promo code HIGHPEAK, you'll get 10% off each and every check that you do. It's really crucial you do this. I know I'm technically doing it after the event, but for £300 it doesn't really matter. But if you're spending any sort of money, you need to do one of these checks. It's just checking databases in dozens of countries, which is more than any other similar system. I suspect for £300 this has been involved in an accident. The bodywork looks quite tidy, but it's not to say at some point it hasn't had a, a whack. And the report's done, look at that. So there's no mileage fraud, it's never been stolen, never been involved in any accidents. This gets better. And no outstanding finance. So it's all clear. So I've bought a Citroen C3 Picasso, a late 2010, in city blue, for 300 quid. Seems too cheap, that. Perhaps when we get to it, there's no clutch in it or something like that. Right, let's see if there's any MOT. The last MOT was done in February. That's a result, so it's MOT till next February 23. There were two advisors on front tires. The tread depths were below the requirements of 1.6. Oh no, that was a fail. Right, so it's passed with no advisors. That's a result, isn't it? The mileage at the last MOT was 131. So, quite high, but... Having said that, for a 12-year-old car, that's bang on average, isn't it? It's all clear, all clear, all clear. The current market value for this car is £1,760. I think I've had a result here. I'm never this lucky, am I? You know by now. I'm just not this lucky. Let's go and have a look then. See how bad it is. I'll tell you what, I'm loving using this car. I've had so many 330s over the years. It is like 
meeting up with an old friend. That sounds corny, doesn't it? Right, moment of truth. Well, that looks very good so far. We've got a Michelin on the back. Who puts Michelins on a C3 Picasso? Although that does look quite old, doesn't it? As we know, that's the date stamp. So it is the 10th week of 2015. So that's an old tire, that. Bodywork looks very tidy, though. What a good colour that is as well. On the front, we've got a Delinte, budget brand, but that's new. So there we go. 27th week of 21, that was made. A little bit of rust there, but it's had a little bit of a whack here on the front because that's sticking out and the paint's flaking. But not bad, is it? Original Citroen Manchester plate. So the bump can't have been that bad, otherwise the plate would have been cracked. We've got a matching Dillante here with about five mil of tread left. No corrosion on that arch and very straight down the panels there. Because it's got folding mirrors, this will be an exclusive, is it? Do they call it? Got a bit of a key mark there, but I think I could touch that in. On the back, we've got a matching Michelin. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? A matching Michelin. And also that is a, that's even older, 48th week of 14. So ideally it wants two rear tires because they're like slicks. And we've got a matching Citroen Manchester plate. A little bit of a impact mark there. It's got rear sensors. Oh, that's nice, Manchester B. Oh, it is an exclusive, there you go. Unfortunately, I know my stuff, don't I? Inside, what have we got? It's got that citron smell. You'll know exactly what I mean. Hey, tell you what, this is all right, you know. It's done 136,000 miles. Can you see that? 136. Hmm. Let's have a look under the bonnet then. Where's the it's French? It's around the other side. Just got a static shock. Plenty of safety pins there for some reason. One of my business cards. It's a bit grubby, but quite clean, really. It's even got the blinds look. Look at that, like an S-Class. So look looking, bolt. How is this 300 pounds? Dirty, but with a quick clean. Lewis never got his birthday card, did he? Poor Lewis. It wants a good clean, this, but there is profit in this car, without a doubt. Someone's been decorated. Hmm. On right-hand drive Citroëns, because the fuse box goes here, you get this pathetic little glove box. Hmm, looking for a book pack and there isn't one, but 300 pounds, I can't be too greedy. Um, I don't even know what engine this is, is it 1.6 one diesel? I'm going to guess 1.6 diesel. It was last serviced at... Oh, I've just rubbed the mileage off it. Can't work out where that says, oh, 15,000 miles, okay, a long time ago then. Very excited, I thought it said 135. 
let's fire up then and see how many warning lights we've got. Because this is so far too good to be true. Okay, we've got no fuel whatsoever. That's not a problem, we can put some in. It is indeed a diesel. And, oh, I was going to say the engine light's on, but the engine light's gone off. ABS system faulty. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a smoke, look at that. Bloody hell. Uh, okay. I knew it was too good to be true. We've got a bit of a misfire. Sounds quite lumpy. And it is smoking heavily. Five speed manual. Round and round in my head. But a key 103 there, local fella. All right, so we've got cruise control, auto lights. Quite a good spec, this. How many windows work? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Right, all the windows work. Have we got the little bus driver's mirror? Look at that. So you can keep your eye on the shenanigans going on in the back. I hate stuff like that. I always thought that these things here look like soap dishes, which is ironic with a C3 Picasso because most C3 Picasso owners wouldn't know what soap is. Have I got enough fuel to creep me to the petrol station? Or am I gonna have a breakdown? Let me just grab my camera stuff from this car and then we'll take it for a quick drive. Well, the sensors work. Clutch is a bit heavy. Hmm. Handbrake's quite high. Clicks on its last click. Right, let me turn it off and save the diesel for a second. Right, and we are back. Let's take this little little cherub for a drive via the petrol station. Fuel level too low, ABS system faulty. That ABS system fault could be something like a sensor, that might be a simple fix. Well, I've got to say, it drives all right, you know. That little bit of a misfire is gone. I think it might have just been low fuel, you know. Let's put some fuel in it then and see which side's my thing on. Not that side. Process of elimination must be on your side. Right, well I've just treated it to 15 pounds of diesel, which bought me about three litres. Let's get this show on the road. You know, the good thing with this era of Citroen diesel was the road tax, I think is about 20 quid or 30 quid, it's cheap. And it'll do about 60 miles per gallon. So you can see why people buy them. Hmm, it's not smoking now actually. Mm, that's weird. I've just put 15 pounds of diesel in it. The gauge hasn't moved at all. Perhaps it's got a dodgy sender unit. Or dodgy fuel gauge. Still, at least we know now that it has got some fuel. Ah. That's my foot to the board. We're doing 15 miles an hour. And it's smoking terribly. <laughs> what a roller coaster this job is, isn't it? There I was thinking I could sell this to a mate of mine for six or seven hundred pounds instantly. But the car has got other ideas. 70, 90 miles an hour, 21? No, this needs a turbo or something, this, or an EGR. Another diesel, another unreliable diesel. Terrific. Right, well this shall be a, quite a short test drive then, unfortunately, because the car is a bit buggered. Let's spin this around. Call the scrap company, I suppose. Just another example of a car that's probably too good to scrap, but isn't worth fixing. This is the problem. 
in my mind, I know it's 12 years old, but in my mind, this still looks like a modern car. It certainly drives away quite respectably, I think. I mean, not my driveway. I don't like them, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's not a complete shed. On the bright side, you never get any speeding tickets, will you? Oh yeah. It is smoking like a trooper out back. I'm gonna wait for a gap in the traffic now, so vast, to allow for this very slow Citroen. Citroen. That's my foot completely to the floor. 23, 25, 27. That's the speed limit, 30. Oh well. I can now see why it was 300 pounds. No such thing as a free lunch, is there in this world, guys? It's weird, I'm praying now nobody flashes to let me go because I don't have the speed. Something else that's weird, I don't have a warning light on. I've got one for ABS, but that's not related. You'd have thought this would have brought an engine light. There's clearly something wrong with its turbo or injectors or EGR or DPF. Could be anything really. Or a mixture of things, as is often the case. It actually drives in a straight line though. It's smoking quite heavily. I've got a James Bond style smoke screen behind me, so bad that I can't see the VW. I think it's a Golf. I can't really tell. Should we see if the air conditioning works? It's quite a warm day. Yay, no. Yay. Works. What a shame, because this is just a bit too good to scrap, isn't it? But with 136,000 miles on the clock, it isn't worth... No, there we go, misfire again. Oh, and it's smoking. Oh, this is embarrassing. That cyclist there is just shaking. <laughs> I've just gone past a cyclist and buried him in a cloud of smoke, and he's just shaking his head at me. Right, I best not go any further. This is appalling. That's, oh, oh dear. That's really black smoke. This car, I mean, if it doesn't have any service history, if it was last serviced at 15,000 miles, it might just be so choked up that it wants a very good. No. Who am I kidding? It's terminal, isn't it? What a shame. What a shame. So we've got an ABS fault, faulty fuel gauge, and a faulty turbo slash engine. Oh, well that's not good. Can you hear that? That's the injectors, I think. <sighs> Sounds like a diesel locomotive. <laughs> what an absolute crock. It's funny, I did a video recently talking about automatic cars and I quickly glossed over Citroen because I said, just don't buy one, the garbage. And the hate I got in the comments. You're so judgmental towards French cars. Yes, that's because they're naff. I don't have these feelings without good reason. I do have good reason for my dislike of them. It's because of too many moments like this. Oh, um, that's white smoke now. I think we've got a new Pope. Right, well I shall park it back up where I found it and I'll call Jay Davidson and get him to come and pick it up and crush it. What a pity. Right, well on that slightly depressing note, thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know below. I'll do my best to get back to you. So yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you next time.